71-49, final score from Clune Arena. Broncos win this one, rebounding from that loss on Wednesday night. And when we were doing this recap two nights ago, statistically the Falcons dominated darn near every aspect of the game and the roles were reversed today. And it all started with the defense of Boise State. Boise State did a really good job, really made the Falcons work for every single point they got tonight. Air Force shoot, shot just 31% on the game, held to just 20%. Beyond the arc, got to the free throw line about 14 times connected on 12 of those. But as you look at some of these stats, Boise State knocked down a lot of shots. They started knocking down some threes late in the game. The rebounding numbers were even, but it was a lot of second chan chance points by the, by the Broncos. They finished the game with 14 second chance opportunities. That was a huge key to their lead. And Broncos did a great job of sharing the basketball, 18 assists. They, they, they did a better job of taking care of it than they did the other night with just 16 Air Force, one too many turnovers. And right. Boise State did a really good job capitalizing off of those 19 points off Air Force's 21 turnovers. So between second chance points, the stifling Bronco defense, and points off turnovers, that's the game right there. It really is, and, and great scoring for the Broncos as well as they get double-digit scorings from four players, including from uh, Naro, as you see here, two of her 14 points. And a lot of those, Rachel, were in the paint and just layups. Yeah, she really set the tone early. She just kind of came out of the shoot just saying, hey, I'm going to force myself to the rim. I'm going to make a defender step step up and try and stop me. She really set the tone for Boise State, but just in terms of being aggressive offensively. For the Falcons, it's their rock. We talked about her in a pregame. She was everywhere again today. She's like a linebacker on a football team as she gets hit after hit after hit, but then she delivers the hit. So I'm talking about Brianna Autry Thompson. She had 19 points tonight, seven of 13 from the field, four of four from the free throw line, an assist, a couple of rebounds. She's really leading this Falcon charge. Yep, she does it on both ends of the floor. She's just relentless. She really pu pushes the defense to make them stop her, but it was going to fall short just a little bit as we see Boise State, Jade Lavelle, automatic from that 15 foot. I mean, she was tremendous tonight. She finished leading all scores with 18 points. No, check that. I'm sorry, she had 18. Right. Brown Autry had 19. I think at the end of the season, we're going to be talking about her, obviously, all conference. She's one of the best scorers in the league, and she really showed in both of these games how good she really is. And we'll see more of her down the line. But hats off to the Broncos as they come back and they even up this series with their 71-49 victory here at Clune Arena. Well, next up for the Falcons, they'll now hit the road for pretty much the rest of the month. They play back-to-back -back games at Wyoming, and then they head to San Diego for two games with the Aztecs. Air Force returns home January 28th to face San Jose State. We hope to see you then for that matchup. For Rachel Galligan and our Falcon Vision crew, good night, everyone.